Rivian is the newest competitor to Tesla and they are coming in with a bang into the state of Georgia. What is Rivian and what are they planning to do in the state of Georgia in 2022? Coming up next. Welcome back to another video. My name is Misha Thompson, your favorite Warner Robins real estate agent. And those were some big, some humongous news that came out last Thursday about the EV car manufacturer Rivian coming to Georgia and building a giga plant between Social Circle and Rutledge out there on the southeast side of Atlanta. But what does that mean? How is it going to affect the real estate market, jobs, taxes, and who is Rivian? So we're going to dive into that in this video. So stay tuned. So let's Let's start with what is or who is Rivian? Rivian, the so-called biggest competitor to Tesla, is moving a humongous plant to Georgia. A lot of people don't know Rivian yet. Rivian was actually founded in 2009 in Irvine, California, and had a couple of other names prior to actually concentrating on EV vehicles. Rivian was first called Mainstream Motors, then Avera, and in 2011, finally got the name Rivian and started concentrating on electric vehicles vehicles. A lot has happened to that company since they were founded and since they changed their name. And in 2015, they got a lot of investment money from outside investors and that really kickstarted the company. In 2017, eight years after the company was founded, they actually revealed the first two vehicles at the LA Auto Show, which was the R1T and the R1S, a five-seater pickup truck and a seven-seater SUV. And after that reveal, the company just kept on going. At the moment, they do have manufacturing plants in California, in Illinois, in British Columbia, and in England. Soon, they will have the biggest one in Georgia. This was a little snapshot about the company, Rivian. If you haven't heard of the biggest competitor to Tesla, you got a little bit of intel right there. But the more important things are, what are they gonna do in Georgia? Where are they gonna be in Georgia? What is it gonna do to the real estate market in that area, the property tax, and are there gonna be more jobs? So let's dive into that. When it comes to the factory and what they are going to do at that factory, well, I can tell you it's a giga factory. It's a humongous factory that costs five billion dollars is supposed to open up and start operating in 2024 they predict to produce 400,000 electric vehicles a year rivian has two models right now that they will produce at that plant which is the r1t and the r1 S. The pickup truck will run you about $50,000 and the seven-seater SUV has a hefty price tag of $100,000. And the range of those electric vehicles is about 300 miles according to the manufacturer on one charge. That manufacturing plant, according to Rivian, will start in 2024 with 4,000 employees and they will increase the employee count by 2028 all the way up to eight to ten thousand employees which is huge for that area they're creating a ton of jobs and that is great with all those job opportunities created in that area that will also draw people from california washington new york wherever it is more expensive and they will sell their houses there for millions of dollars have a lot of cash and they will move down here to work at rivian or any of the suppliers that might move to that area that means that the real estate market is probably not going anywhere it's probably not cooling down it's probably keep going up because if people come here there is a demand for houses and the supply is already super super low and has been over the last two years so the prices might increase even more in that area and what does that mean for tax well if property prices go up, your property tax will go up. And it has been going up over the last two years anyway. So keep that in mind. Those are probably some negatives that will occur when that plant is coming. But there are a lot of positives that that plant brings with itself when building in Georgia. I mean, if one of those large companies thinks Georgia is the place to be, maybe a lot of other companies will follow in their footsteps 
and bring their headquarters, bring their factories down here, which brings us even more jobs. So this is actually a very good thing for Georgia in general and for the Atlanta metro area, especially for Social City and Rutland. This is amazing. It makes the whole area more attractive to other people and investors that might want to open up a location in those areas. This was my video for this week about the biggest Tesla competitor out there, Vivian, and how the giga plant they are building in Georgia could affect the area in a positive and negative way. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you do, smash that like button. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and turning that notification bell on so you will stay up to date with all the latest videos I'll upload. And I'll see you in the next one.